Nick speaking and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to have a look at my uh, manufacturing building um, and maybe just show you what I've done with it and uh, maybe how you can expand the kit a little bit more than, than what you actually get. Now admittedly I've got uh, probably about two kits here um, but when you just buy the kit you just get basically a corner piece uh, but there's so much more that you can do with the kit um, and that would include actually using num kit pieces to, to beef up your your building. So let me just uh, show you what I mean. So just coming round to the back of this building here, and I've actually added some material in. Uh, this is basically just some uh, backing boards of an old wardrobe that we were chucking out. I just kept the wood, and um, sort of ex I put a piece in here. This is just one piece, and I've just sort of break broken it up this um, this section here and then I've put another piece just in there uh, so I just cut them out the same size as, as the actual GW ones so effectively I can make my building much bigger than it, uh, it already is which obviously is a bonus because I've, I've literally got a whole wall there and because of the, the design of the building and uh, where I've put it you can't actually, I mean it just doesn't look any different, I mean it actually matches quite well, if anything it brings a little bit more depth because it's got a different material. Um, but yeah, so not only um, using the extra material is, is a good idea, um, but just just a little bit of imagination can really change the dynamics um, of your building. So just, just almost basically imagining that it was a real thing. So what I did for this section here is I put a ladder, uh, two ladders actually, going up uh, to the top and then I've matched it up with this little hatch. So you can just imagine people would actually climb up here and just climb through the hatch. I've uh, just stuck on that little section there as well, just to give a bit more detail. Uh, these here, this used to be, these used to be on the Games Workshop website, you used to be able to download them into, on a PDF. Um, basically there's signs and stuff. Now if you need these, I do actually have a copy of it, so just send me an email and I can um, I can forward the attachment to you, that's no problem. Um, okay, so let's have another look round here, you can see more of those posters and stuff on there. Um, and once again, I've just tried to I've sort of imagine that that's a little, a little gangway that you come out of, so you've got your door and you can come out here, go up the ladder and that puts you onto the roof. Over here, these are just little... Um, and counters from the old game that I had, so I use those as barrels, and it saves using the Games Workshop barrels. And I put a load of barrels in the bottom here, basically just to fill up that dead space because you're not really allowed to. It's just awkward to get your models in, so I filled up the dead space with barrels, which is quite good. And just things like cutting the doors open, uh, basically cut the doors out and glue them on in an open position. And also like here, for example, I've cut the door out, but I've glued it in into a half open position and then just going at the top here I've actually cut out the top hatch um, and just put a ladder so it looks like basically yeah they can go through that door and that's how they get to the top there so it's just having that little you know, reason for having something rather than just sticking in an odd ladder somewhere um, you know everything's got a reason and using the little accessories and things you know just to add on to the walls just to to build up the details really and then I thought well why would they be going up to the top hatch uh, you know, why they begin up to this top platform, platform. I thought, well, if I put this on, this can be some sort of generator and stuff, so they've got to come up here to service it. And, you know, just little things like that, just adding that little bit of um, extra detail to it. And talking of detail, what I find really sets off the buildings is having glass in the windows. Now, if I can find it, it's got, where are you? Glass, there we go, there's some glass in there. Now that's just made out of the uh, blister packs, just randomly cut up some little jagged shapes and uh, stuck them into the, the corner of the window, you can see that one, there you go. And just a little bit of broken glass here and there, not only in the windows, but you can do them on the, you know, on the floor, um, up there, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got some little bits of plastic on the floor there where, you know, the glass is broken and it's still some left. And then using your um, off cups, I mean these are like the little tube uh, part of the door that I broke up. This along here is actually from the barricade set, one of those sections from the barricade set just to beef up the, the walls around the outside. And the rubble itself, um, it's not an amazing look but 
the, what I did basically just cut up a load of sprue and just, just glued it on there. Uh, but the reason why I didn't go too massive on the on the rubble is because I wanted the models to be able to stand up. So effectively I wanted it flat so they could stand, but then I wanted it to still look like rubble. So that's that's why I, I did that sort of um, design. Um, and extending that onto the base as well. Uh, and then we've got the little extra poles, which just, well not poles, what they called, uh, tubes, I can't think of the name, but whatever they are, um, there they are. Um, yes, yeah, so just just uh, a little bit of imagination, a little bit of thought, just to really, really improve the kits, really, because although they're, I mean, they're awesome kits, but you can do so, so much more than just building, um, you know, a corner piece, basically. Now, talking of terrain, um, my buddy uh, Kiblums, He's um, he's also fantastic at building terrain. He's um, he's recently got some laser cut card buildings, and uh, he's been doing some awesome work with that. He's magnetised it, and he's really gone to town on it. Uh, just in the process of, of painting it. So yeah, go and check out uh, his channel. Got a link below in the description. Um, awesome guy. Uh, fairly new to YouTube, but he's really enjoying himself, and uh, his videos are fantastic. So yeah, go and check him out. Okay, so um, that's it really, just have a quick look at this building and maybe give you some ideas on how you can improve the, the GW kit, um, make it into something much, much nicer, which um, blow my own trumpet, but yeah, I'm very, very proud of this building, I think, uh, I think it's awesome, it's my favourite building out of all the ones that I have. Okay, so that's it for me, and uh, more to come.